as 21st century viewers, we tend to look at the face. But for a medieval sculpture, what you really need to do is to look at the rest of the body, and in particular, the hands. If you look at the hands of this sculpture, you can see they're outsized, they're out of proportion. They may even seem a little clown-like to us, but that's really because they are serving as super obvious arrows as to what is happening and what is important here. They're really kind of directing you to God, to Jesus, sitting right there. That's the precious and regal figure that she is framing with her body. How can we interpret the figure's static facial features? For a medieval sculpture, for a divine figure, it's unseemly for a face to have a kind of highly expressive countenance. That's really reserved for devils and monsters and the sinful and the hellbound. You know, the divine is meant to be serene and impassive. From a distance, the sculpture communicates something more. The most important thing here is the relationship between two bodies, the body of the Christ child, who represents wisdom, seated on the lap of the Virgin Mary. And in this instance, that carries a symbolic message. Mary is serving as the throne of the Christ child. 